Hi, this is Ponte Pika, and this video is a part of IEEE Census 2020. And I would like to start my presentation. I would like to present a work on autonomous neural navigation system for neurosurgical robotics. And this work was carried out in IIIB. And this is my presentation outline. Coming to introduction, cranial neural navigation has become an integral part of contemporary neurosurgery. And it is often practiced as an intensive manual process with the available clinical information. This neural navigation guidance system forms a very crucial component of any robotic surgical system. The existing neural navigation system either rely on fiducial markers or stereotactic head frames as references for navigation. However, this has a lot of disadvantages. Like, the fiducial markers have to be held in place from the time of pre-surgical evaluation till the end of neurosurgery. And the stereotactic head frames has insertion pins that penetrate the scalp to secure the frame to the skull. So there is an increased pain and complexity associated with the management of fiducial markers as well as the stereotactic head frames. So our idea is to go markerless and utilize the natural anatomical landmarks as references for navigation. So our objective is to develop a neural navigation system that will allow the robotic system to accurately navigate in the real-time operative field with the information available from the pre-operative radiographic images and to validate the performance of the proposed navigation guidance system in an experimental setup. And this is a path flow. So images are acquired pre-operatively and interoperatively. 3D point clouds are reconstructed from the pre-operative and interoperative acquired images and they are registered. So the registration consists of following steps. The two point clouds are pre-processed to match resolution. Key points are extracted from these two point clouds and they are described with feature descriptors. Once key points and feature descriptors are computed, the registration is performed in two stages. An initial course registration is performed with ransom, which is then further refined with iterative closest point algorithm. Once the registration is complete, the transformation matrix will allow any of the surgical plan, plan in the pre-operative images to be transferred to the surgical table. It's coming to point cloud acquisition. In the image space, Point cloud is reconstructed from the MRI images acquired for pre-surgical evaluation by applying matching cubes algorithm with appropriate IC surface value to obtain the outer skin surface. In the surgical space, a handheld RGBD camera is used to acquire skin surface point cloud with the entire head. So this has an advantage that it requires no additional skill from the side of surgeon or the nearest supporting staff. Then comes the key point detectors. So key points are some special points in the point cloud that allow for unique description of local geometry. So in the proposed navigation system, intrinsic shape signatures ISS is used as a key point detector. So covariance matrix of the feature point is defined in the local support region. Eigenvalues are computed for these covariance matrix and the magnitude of the smallest eigenvalues such as the saliency score to be elected as a key point so as to ensure larger variations in all principal directions. Then these key points are further proved to exclude the points with similar spread along its principal directions by thresholding the ratio of successive eigenvalues. So once the key points are uh, detected, they describe feature descriptors. Feature descriptors encodes the local geometric information of the key point using the distribution of points in the surrounding spherical neighborhood. In the proposed navigation system, first point feature histogram, FPFH, is used as a feature descriptor. In general, point feature histograms either rely on distances and the relative orientation of normals of the point pairs in the spherical support region of a feature point. So for every point pair, a Dobbix reference frame is created, three angular parameters and a distance parameter is computed for each point pair and bent into a histogram to form simplified point feature histogram SPFH. Then finally, FPFH of a query point is finally constructed as the sum of SPHs computed for the query point and the weighted sum of SPFH is SPFH computed for K points in the neighborhood. Then comes the registration procedure. Outlier rejection is a robust key to robust estimation of transformation function. 
the false correspondences and outliers were removed by ransack. So these correspondences are established by matching features extracted from both the point clouds. And the feature correspondences with distance greater than a preset threshold are discarded as outliers. So once a course registration is complete with the, completed with the ransack, final registration is achieved by iterative closest point algorithm. So which runs iteratively till the mean square error between the two point clouds drops below a preset threshold value. And this ransack initialization ensures successful alignment and it also fastens the convergence of PCT. And all these registration procedures are implemented using open source library, point cloud library. And here is the registration result. So the first image, what you see is a 3D point cloud acquired uh, from the pre-surgically acquired uh, MRI images. And second, what you see is a point cloud obtained using IR camera in the surgical scene. And if you see, only the front part of the face and till the nose is used for registration because all of the parts are generally occluded in the surgical scene. And the third one, what you see is the registration result. Then comes experimental validation. Experimental setup actually consists of a portable IR scanner and a mobile drilling head system. And the 3D human head model we constructed from the available MRI slices is printed and the model was employed in the experimental setup. So the drilling system actually consists of four rails forming a closed rectangular setup and the fifth mobile rail is mounted on the four rail system. A drilling head consisting of two servo motors is fixed on the fifth rail and it is configured to provide ya yeah and pitch moments. Two stepper motors drive the fifth rail in one translation direction whereas another stepper motor drives the drilling head in another translation direction. So this will enable the drilling setup to reach any point and point towards its normal direction. And what you see in the image is the experimental setup. This is an experimental validation. So the doctor was allowed to make an annotation in the 3D point cloud reconstructed from the MRI images. Then this point was transferred to the IR scanned 3D point cloud in the surgical table. And if you see, the experimental setup was able to navigate and point to the annotated point perfectly in the surgical scene. So this is a design nav neural navigation system was able to autonomously guide the experimental surgical setup to the anatomical location at the operative field as dictated by the surgeon in the preoperative image space. And the experiment was repeated for various selected anatomical landmarks to report an average accuracy of 2 mm, which is attributed to the registration error and the navigation error of the experimental drilling setup. So, an autonomous neural navigation guidance system was developed for robotic neurosurgical procedures towards making the overall process efficient and error free. An integrated experimental framework was developed and the performance of the navigation guidance system was validated. Here are some of our references. So thank you for showing interest in our work. Thank you for giving an opportunity for being a part of ITP Census 2020.